Installing the Cloud and Dervi Center Appliance on your data center. This video will walk you through the steps of installing the Cloud and Dervi Center Appliance on your data center. The appliance must be installed if you are utilizing vCenter as a source or target infrastructure with Cloud Endure. This video will provide an overview of installation basics. The actual installation and chosen settings will differ based on your network and infrastructure. This video should only be used as a point of reference. In order to install the appliance, you must first download the appliance OVF template. You can find the download link in the description for this video as well as in our documentation at docs.cloudendure.com. Once you have downloaded your appliance, open your vSphere client and navigate to the VMs and templates view. Scroll down to the folder which you want to use with the Cloud Endure appliance. Right click the folder, and select Deploy OVF Template. We recommend creating a new folder for this purpose. The Deploy OVF Template prompt will pop up. Under the Select an OVF Template step, click the Local File box and select the Choose Files option. Navigate to the directory into which you downloaded the OVF template, select the appliance.ova file. Click Next. The next step will prompt you to select a virtual machine name and folder. Give the virtual machine a unique name that you will remember and select the same folder selected, or newly created, in the previous step. Click Next. On the next step, you will need to select the compute resource that you wish to use for the Cloud Endure appliance. Select the resource from the list. Your list may contain a single resource, or many, depending on your vCenter setup. Click Next. vCenter will validate your OVF template. This may take some time. Once your template is validated, you will be able to review the template details. Click Next. Next, you will need to select the database in which to store the configuration and disk files. Select a data store from the list of available data stores. You also have the option to select the virtual disk format in the VM storage policy from the drop down menus. Select your desired disk, choose your format and policy, and click Next. On the next step, select your destination network from the list. This is the network in which the Cloud Endure appliance will be deployed. This will depend on your network setup. Select the option that works best for you based on your specific configuration. If your enterprise pulls IP addresses, you also have the option to configure IP allocation settings. Do not alter the source network. Configure your settings and click Next. The Ready to Complete section will appear. Verify that all of your settings are correct and then click Finish. You will see the OVF package import and deploy operations in your vCenter recent tasks. Once your appliance is created, Select it from the VMs and Templates navigational menu. Power on the appliance by navigating into the Appliance window on the right-hand side, opening the Actions menu and selecting Power. Power on. Log into your appliance directly by clicking on Launch Web Console or log in through the Remote Console by clicking Launch Remote Console. Your appliance will launch and will automatically connect to the Cloud Endure servers. Upon connection, the console will check for updates to the replicator template. If the console finds any issues with the template, it will download the most recent file. Once your appliance has the latest template, it will prompt you for your Cloud Endure credentials. Enter your username and password or your project token into the console. Press Enter. You can find your project token by navigating to the Cloud Endure user console. Your vCenter project. Set up an info. Other settings. Installation token. Input the listed installation token into the Open vCenter console. Press Enter. Enter your vCenter IP or host name into the console. Enter your vCenter port for HTTP communication. Simply press Enter if the port is set to 443. Enter a name for the virtual data center to be created, to be used in the Cloud Endure user console. The console will then need to test your connection. Enter your vCenter username and password and press Enter to start the test. The console will test the connection. This may take a few moments. Once the test is complete, the console will indicate so and will prompt you to enter your Cloud Endure project token. Navigate to the Cloud Endure user console. 
your vCenter project. Set up an info. Other settings. Installation token. Input the listed token into the Open vCenter console. Press Enter. Once the console has connected, enter your vCenter username and password. You will receive a confirmation that the project has been paired successfully. You can now install machines and continue with cutover or recovery.